Hi, Representative Hale. Hello. How um, are you, John? How was the food? Oh, Zen always does a great job. She does. Did they I have mention... cookies for you. Well, thank you. Yes, and we did. I did talk to her about biomass a little bit, so I'm kind of wondering did why mention... were you here today to... I didn't, I didn't really understand. I, you know, I know that locally the biomass is not going forward, the, the big thing. So is there something specific oh, for yes. her that yes. you were uh, wanting to? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So what uh, was uh, it? Well, but before I get into that, and thank you for asking, uh, did they mention Oakland Bay and the fact that there's a hot bed of dioxin contamination in, in that and in the, uh, the harbor here where the shellfish are raised? Uh, not specifically. Well, that wasn't something that the shellfish growers were really... Um, but it was pretty tasty. Yeah. Well, it's an issue. But yeah. any, any of... I mean, they did bring up real big issues about Puget Sound and water quality. Let me answer and the funding that, that it's going to take to clean up what's there. And me. also to really talk about how shellfish is, is an industry that needs clean water, clean air. Absolutely. And that kind of Absolutely. Thing. So they brought that up. So let me, let me respond to your question. Um, as it turns out, and I don't think a lot of our uh, citizens and representatives are aware of this, but there's government studies, federal, that document this. Where did this dioxin in the bay come from? They, a lot of, the thing uh, that I went to earlier, they didn't know. I can tell especially you. Especially some Gordon, of the hot areas, Gordon, they didn't know. Gordon Lance, uh, the, the, they've been trying to pass the buck, hot potato say, well, maybe it was renewed, maybe it was this, maybe it was that. The studies the federal government's done back in the mid-80s show that Simpson, who wants another incinerator here today, another permit for yet another incinerator, was generating a lot of dioxin from its hog fuel boiler right. here in it's the harbor. the burning. That's right. That Most of the it. dioxin was captured in the ash in their bag house. What did they do with that ash? You may be shocked. I think everybody should be shocked to know. They flushed it down the sewers into our sewage treatment plant here in Shelton, and of course, not, not being designed to handle that, it all ended up out in the bay, except for the little bit that they didn't do that with, that they hauled to private, uncertified, you know, inadequate landfills and covered it, like one of them's up by Matlock. So, um, uh, my question for the senator very much is, first of all, do we have to be well endowed to get access to her? <laughs> to answer questions like, is she willing to trade our children's health and the community's future, and we can see what's happened already with it, for jobs? Or are our children's health so important that we're not willing to sell our children for that? Uh, we already have a problem here. There's not enough money to clean it up. And uh, I've suggested that maybe what we could do is, if we're in a hole we can't get out of, to quit digging. And I'd like the senator's position on that. But she is one of the senators that signed a letter to the EPA telling them to back off on enforcing its clean air regulations. Hmm. That's the issue. And whether our elected representatives, and as you know, you were in a very tight race recently against Dan Griffey. And uh, the community, I think you're well aware, because you pay attention, is very concerned about whether any of our officials are listening? I think they are. I mean, I have been, um, and I think a lot of the shellfish growers are listening. I am not sure how much or, or, or where the senator is really, you know, working on those issues. She did um, sign the letter. That's public record. Okay. Tell the EPA to couldn't afford to enforce these regulations right now because uh, the economy and jobs are too important. That seems a little strange. That I'll, I'll get you, I'll, I'll send you a copy. No, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not questioning that she did it. It just seems a little strange that she would do that in the face of the issue of really needing to, if she really supports the shellfish industry, that she understand yes. the impact I, of I don't not know cleaning that the shellfish the industry is be comfortable if it was known to their international markets how bad the dioxin contamination is locally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have anything you wanted to comment? Oh, no, I just didn't want to interrupt. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Kathy? Yes. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Not so much today. I'm, like I said, I'm, I think that the senator needs to get a little more focused on especially water quality in the Puget Sound 
And the one thing she said is it, it is difficult to bring this issue to the federal level. It seems very, very small in the face of all the other challenges that they have facing them at the federal level. Well, but we, and she made a commitment to talk with the shellfish industry again and to engage the uh, Army Corps of Engineers in that discussion. And I think also to keep the funds coming for Superfund cleanup. Um, is really is, is a huge issue. I mean, it's a huge mess, and it's going to cost a lot of money to clean it up if they actually know the right way to clean it up. I didn't, when I heard or went and visited with the uh, environmental group, uh, Department of Ecology had a presentation. You were there. Yes, I was. Was that the spring? Uh, Sometime. Yeah, so it was in, in It City didn't Hall. sound like they even knew exactly what is the right thing to do to clean it up, whether it's better to leave it and maybe cover it or... So they don't have the money to admit it then. Yeah. Well, if you're genuine about your position on uh, the environmental health and future of the community and its citizens, uh, I think you've got my vote and uh, most of the people that care about our quality of life. So I really appreciate your uh, uh, su uh, subjecting yourself to this interview and I'm <laughs> going to be posting this and I'll yeah. send your office a link so you can... Uh, See how okay. good looking you are on okay. camera. <laughs> I don't know about that. Thank you. Thank you, John.